the most important message of today's gospel that Jesus enters our life only if we give him the permission. If we don't give Jesus the permission to come into our life, he is very gentle. He does not come in. He does not violate his boundaries. Jesus Christ does not impose himself at all. He only responds to our invitation. When we accept Jesus to come into our life, we are choosing him instead of something else or someone else. And this is very important. When Jesus comes into our life, he's going to come and take place of someone or something. Which means accepting Jesus into our life, inviting him to come in, may very, very well cause us some major losses. In the case of the people of the Gadaranese country, the choice was very clear in front of them, economic over Jesus. And they, they chose to lose Jesus so they can economically be winners. It is very important to realize that it is not possible, not possible in any shape or form, not to suffer losses when Jesus enters into our life. There is a form of loss. We just have to compare that loss into the gain that Jesus brings into our life. Some people will find themselves choosing between a career and Jesus Christ. Not all careers are compatible with being a believer, an active believer in Jesus Christ. Some people will have to choose between family and Jesus. As strange as that sounds, Yet, it is very true, it's very pragmatic. At times, people have to choose between Jesus and their home country. There are a lot of people that they have to leave their home country behind, never ever see it again, because they want to be with Jesus. The possibility of losses, when choosing Jesus, when inviting him to come into our lives are endless. And it's not something that can be ignored or compromised. The number of the saints and the choices they made to win Jesus is beyond number. Every story of a saint that we celebrate and we know that existed and we know their story, we can see what type of losses this person suffered to stay connected to Jesus. So, if we are not ready to suffer losses for the sake of Jesus Christ, then we are not ready to gain Jesus Christ. It's a simple fact, indisputable. People every day in every walk of life suffer all kinds of losses in order to gain a career, wealth, family, children, and even things of less values. 
students, for example, that want to pass a certain test, ask him what kind of uh, losses of time and energy and days of being entertained or doing things and cost they have to go through. In order to be rewarded, a piece of paper said you passed this test. So we suffer in our lives all kind of losses all the time for the sake of something else. When it comes to Jesus, Jesus brings us back to our normal state of being. He restores our dignity. He reinstates our broken or lost or corrupted humanity. How much more of value does Jesus bring into our life? How much more sacrifices Jesus is worthy of to gain those rewards? The answer is a personal choice. Nobody else is able to answer this question for me, for you, or for anyone. Because whoever answers this question, he is the one that is going to fit the bill. So unless we are ready to pay the price, we cannot answer this question for anyone else. Today's message from the Holy Gospel very clearly states that we are choosers. God has created us to be choosers. And we choose every day. And we choose multiple times many choices during the day and during our lives. And when it comes to Jesus, do we choose Him or, we, or do we choose something else over Him? That is the question.